Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome back to more from this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy VI. Edgar, Locke, and Terra had made their escape from Kefka, and uh, Figaro went like under the sand, and we're basically on the run, and we were going to go to some caves to continue our progress. So without much further ado, let's just get straight into it and see what the session will bring. King Edgar, where are you headed, sire? Through the cave and eastward to South Figaro. We'll then make for the Returner headquarters in the north. Return to the castle and pass the word along. Understood, sire. Take care. So... Before I look at this... Formation... Adventurer, Machinist, Magitech, Elite. Yeah, so we can push them to front and back row here as well. Let's have a look at their statuses. Well, obvious thing would be to put Terra um, more in defense, because obviously... Sorry, on the back row, because she doesn't have the strength. So she wouldn't need to do as much damage as the others. So let's try that, for starters. And we'll see how we do. Yeah, the other ones don't even have MP points. So this is what I think makes sense for now. Okay, here we go. Recovery spring. Oh! Sweet. That's cool. Right, let's get it. First battle of the session. I'm still liking this this tool business. I thought maybe it was like a one-time use thing, but nice. Magnitude 8, alright, hitting us with the earthquakes. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm not going to use magic if I really don't have to, but they seem to be able to withstand Stole Potion. Only 6 damage, that's not bad. Okay. So I'm not going to use magic too much at this early stage unless I really feel like I need it. Digested fluid. Sounds nice. I think that was a states attack, but we didn't get hit with it. I'm still... Again, Gil has surprised me. Like, it feels like you get Gil pretty quick in this game, which is cool. But I am going to need it because... I do wonder if there's, like, a, a room in the back. I don't know if I can come back through there eventually to meet that turtle over there, but I don't know. So yeah, I think you can change who you walk around as, by the way. If that's what you want. Let's just see the auto crossbow as well. Wow. Okay, I mean, they're looking very strong here. That's good because it, it gives me a little bit more license to sort of roam around if need be. Hmm. I can go here, but no further, I think. Might result in me being a little bit OP because I'm, I'm fighting a lot here, but I prefer the exploration at the moment. I'll kind of tone back if I need to.
I think Back Row Terror seems a good shout at the moment as well. But yeah, we're, we're wiping things out at the moment. Yeah, so I guess you can come down far enough to know it's there, but other than that... Yeah, there you go. So I think there's a lot of these invisible wall things going on. I'm going to have to get used to it navigationally in that sense. I've been told that most of the stuff that you miss in that situation is just like items and, and stuff. So it's not too bad. And usually they're not like hugely important things. Preemptive. I'm going to reserve MP here. Wow, Edgar's just crushing it. Edgar's a beast. Encounters are quite frequent, though. I mean, I'm not seeing why I wouldn't use the the tools right now with Edgar if it's if this is what he can do. Why would I not? He seems very OP at the moment, but... Ether. There's so many options of places to go. I don't know which of these is the way out. Hmm. Again, I'm just going to do my best to explore things here and just not worry too much about it. If I become OP as a result, maybe after a time I'll stop, um, I'll stop battling. But it's so early right now that I don't mind. But yeah, the encounter rate is very frequent. Probably fight couple more times and then start running. I mean, I'm not even using lock to attack at the moment and it's still light work. So this was the chest that I couldn't get to earlier. That's good. So something tells me that the room that I could access further up was probably the correct room. Sorry, not the correct room. It was like an extra room to get an item. Let me start running now. Ah, okay, wait. I was going to say, for a second, do they not always run together? I feel like this one's surely the way out. So I'm going to go back to that previous room that I, couldn't, that I missed last time. So again, with editing stuff, if I get into a phase of I'm just going to run, then I'll probably forward ahead to when I reach... Where I need to go. I wonder if this was like a Steam version, is it like a no encounters option? It's not something I'd use even if there was, I think, but. Because if you encounter something different potentially, let's say, I'd be interested to fight it. So this is what I missed last time. There you go, see? <laughs> it, it's, it's that kind of game. I feel like I probably still miss like 20-30% of these optional chests, but... Oh, this is a 4. We'll do it. I do wonder how Terra's going to get more magic. Edgar just one-man army at the moment. Having the girl to get those two um, pieces of equipment for him was nice. I think favorite thing so far has got to be the, the soundtrack. Soundtrack in first place and then the writing second so far. I'm liking the writing so far. I've never heard like what the original Game Boy Advance soundtrack 
uh, sounds like, but everyone just talks about how horrible it is. I've only heard the patched, so at this stage I kind of don't want to compare and go back. Apparently it's because of the sound chip that they have on the Game Boy Advance, it was kind of not very powerful, and so it couldn't push the soundtrack as, as well as it should. Right, so I think this was what I wanted to do, right? Okay. So, when it comes to Fire Fantasy and the name Locke, the first time I actually ever heard of Locke uh, in like a Fire Fantasy context was was in the Final Fantasy X Game Facts forums back in like 2007, 2008 when I first joined. There's a user called Dark Lock, which I used to see posts from. It's the first mention. And obviously I quickly realized it was a name from Final Fantasy. Okay, I've got this bit over here. Is this it? Oh, okay, back attack. But we're all facing it, so is it still a back attack when that happens? Belmadar. Couldn't steal. Um, I'm going to defend. <laughs> oh, it could Mega Vault. And it heals itself. Okay. Still going to defend for now. Bioblast it. Eighty-nine. Stole potion. Okay, so still very basic steals at the moment. Let's see his normal attack. Thirty-three. Twenty-six. That's not very good. I think when he's facing us. Okay. Terra's just got a good attack. Wow. The tools are just really powerful. Fair. Alright, South Figaro, this is where I needed to go. So like, for a second I didn't even realise I could go through this bit. <laughs> At least around here there's no encounter, so I can take my time. Obtain potion. Hello. Welcome to South Figaro. Do they have a second line? No. Chocobo stable. Okay. Que. Even this track is good. Seriously, it has every single track so far has been good. <laughs> Damn son. Eighty gil for a chocobo ride. How about it? Not yet. I've, I've yet to hear a kind of mediocre one yet. Our shops carry weapons, armor, and relics of the utmost quality. So I think this is where we're going to get the first chance to get some relics. Yeah, there's a lot of places to enter here. I'm going to kind of make it up as I go along. Hello there. I wonder if it'll really come to war. Maybe I should return home now, before it's too late. It always comes to war. This is Final Fantasy. Can't escape the war. Okay, just tapping around where those barrels are. Now look at this. So I mean, like you can kind of go off screen quite easily as well. It's nice, I mean, given their restricted resources when making the game, it, it, it expands the game out and gives you more options where well, you can kind of do that stuff. It's like here again. It's just, again, it's not something I'm really used to, like going off screen like this. It's a bit weird. But I'll get the hang of it. I feel like over time I'll be able to spot more kind of potential areas where I'd be able to do it. Green cherry. So everything that's like a storage box doesn't really have to be a chest. Anything that looks like storage can contain something. 
So I think a lot of this playthrough is going to feature just this sort of walking around, but that's just how it goes. Did you see how cool Figaro Castle looked as it moved along through the sand? No? Well, I suppose it would have been kind of hard, what with it being underground and all. <laughs> okay, we've got a pub, which is always good. So I'm trying to speak to as many NPCs as I can as well. I mean, it's not like this, this game's going to have a billion of them. The big house at the north end of town belongs to the richest family here. So that's probably a cue as to where you need to go, in case you need one. This town's defences are tight. Even with their Magitek armour, the Imperials won't find it easy to get inside. That's good to know. Can I go beyond him? No. Duncan's house. Is Duncan... My husband Duncan is a martial artist. He's famous even in Figaro, to the north. He took his students to Mount Colts for some meditation and training, so he probably won't be back for a while. Okay, Mount Colts. I feel like surely he's going to feature... Cool, save point. Alright. Um... So yeah, I think I saved, like I've made a backup on my PC of the first three slots. I think how I'll do it is... The third slot is free, right? Yeah. So I'll, I'll make the first save of the session and I'll probably use save states for like the next couple of hours and then save one more time when I'm actually at the end of the session. Just in case. So I've got to use all the technology at my disposal here to keep my saves plentiful and backed up. Okay, there was the pub place. I don't think I went here as well, did I? Or did I come down from here? No, I haven't been here. Item shop. Okay. I've already stocked up on some stuff other than eye drops, which I think surely is needed. Gonna risk it and not have any more Phoenix Downs for now. But I can see something behind him, it's like stairs going up to a higher floor, but. I feel like if a Fire Fantasy game has a brilliant soundtrack, it already makes it like an 8 out of 10 minimum, like, regardless of how much everything else sucks. Head east and you'll see Mount Colts. So I think that's where I'm going to go from here onwards, surely, but... But I mean, these areas are quite plentiful, there's a lot to... This is just meant to be like some little South Figaro place, but... You can spend a good 5-10 minutes just making sure you check everything in an area. So we've got this place, armour and weaponry. Okay. Let's have a look. I don't think I've got any armors yet, so... Okay. I have two of these equipped. Heavy shield. Hairband. Plumed hat. Cotton robe. Okay, I can pretty much buy all of these. So... I'm going to buy three of these. And I feel like I can probably sell my old ones, right? Didn't I already have two? I guess because they're equipped, I can't sell them right now. Let's have a look at the weapons too. Mithril knife. Mithril sword. Great sword. Okay. 
Uh, I almost have enough girl for... He has a mithril sword. We can get him a great sword. Get a mithril knife. Or a mithril sword. He has a mithril knife already. Wait, no, she has a mithril knife. Mithril sword. Hmm. Let me just see how this changes things, then I'll act accordingly. Right, so we can get the shield. Right, his defense is already good. So we can give him a great sword. Okay. 42, 74, 52. Right, they're looking better now. I mean, they're already doing pretty good, but... Okay. Well, that's a pretty good start, right? I mean, I was trying to think, um, I thought maybe because of the sword he won't be able to hold it um, single-handedly, so he won't be able to equip one, but I think he still can, it's not a problem, so that's good. So let me have a final look. It's weird because you can't see the stats for it, it right? I mean, it, it would have been nice to see the stats, he seemed to be short on girl. Yeah, it won't allow you to compare. I guess, I mean, it just gives you a vague sort of it's better or it's worse, but it won't really tell you. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave it at this for now. I think I can get rid of these. Imp status. Okay. Let's move. I think the only place I needed to see still was the pub and the big house. I haven't spoke to. Did we speak to this person? Yeah, we did, I think. Yeah. Speak to her, I'm whizzing around. What kind of dummies would go and make an empire would go and make the empire mad? So we've got the inn and we've got the pub. And we've got this old man here. Beyond Mount Colts lies the Sabre Mountains. Antidote. Eye drops. Sweet. It's a lot to pick up. It keeps you engaged as well. <laughs> I mean, there's still a fair few NPCs again, given the context of how old the game is. You look just like that student of Duncan's. That man at the count has got a nasty look about him. I hear the Empire has been invading one town after another. I wonder how safe we are in South Figaro. Duncan's been training his boy, Vargas, along with his other students. He's always grumbling about how the kid never seems to be making progress. Huh? 
Kids aren't allowed in here. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> right, ignore us and maybe we'll just disappear. Back off, Locke. That guy looks familiar. Yeah, that's him, all right. Hmm, new party member. He comes and goes like the wind, swearing allegiance to no one. Hidden behind his wintry gaze lies a face known to none who live. Shadow. Wow. Cast is growing fast, man. Sheesh. That's Shadow. He's an assassin. He'd kill his own best friend for the right price. Guess we'd better steer clear of him. Wow. So it's interesting, like, the way the game works is we're, we're having, like, cast members added, but we're not able to actually have them in our party yet, so it's like, it's weird. It's, it's, it foreshadows the fact that they're going to be a part of the team, but we don't really have the context. Leave us, the dog eats strangers. <laughs> But we don't know how they're going to become part of the team, so that's kind of interesting, narratively. I think I like that. You know they're going to be part of it someday, but when and how, we don't know yet. That's pretty cool. So obviously I'm tapping X next to all of these boxes. It doesn't always work. It's weird. You get Sometimes you get things when you don't think you will, and other times... Out of my way. I gotta get this cider over to the old timer. Cause, see, some of us have jobs. Now scram. Alright, dude. But no, can't seem to get anything here. A Lux ran out with these extra items. I don't know if there's like. You know, you have to go to this particular side of the box to get the item and press X, but no, nothing for me here. But look, even the pub, look how many rooms there are to explore in the bloody pub. The game's bigger than I thought. So one thing I will say that I do know about this game is that it seems to have an enormous cast, like a really big cast. I think, I don't know the exact number, but I think it was like 16 or something. Like you, There's up to 16 party members you can have. And so that's going to be very interesting. And knowing the way I play games, I'm not going to like keep all 16 of them like you know equally sort of involved in the game. I'll probably try and find my favorites. And I'm sure the story will probably steer it in the direction of having a few favorites. And I'll probably roll with that particular party. But there's going to be a lot of them. And you've seen already, I think we have three. And then we have another two, I think. We've got Sabin and we've got Shadow so far. They've already been added and it's been less than two hours. So... And we don't even really have much of a story yet, so there's going to be a lot of cast members to come, clearly. Is there this, is this someone sleeping in there? Can we disturb him? Yeah! Figaro Castle stood up to the Empire? Great. Now we'll all be drawn into this. I love that they didn't mind that some strangers walked into their hotel room to ask them a question while they're in bed. <laughs> Rooms are 80 gil per night. I think I can restore my MP for 80 gil, so I don't see why not, right? 